Ah, the and I would, I would, I would love something like Zach Jarvan is also a good example because there are two stationary AD carries on the enemy bot lane. Varus, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Varus, Varus and uh, uh, Senna are quite strong in the two v two, but they are very susceptible to getting jumped on by Zach. And Zach also, one of his key weaknesses is when you are playing into an aggressive jungler that can mess up your jungle. That's not going to be the case. You're playing into Maokai. You don't have to be worried about him invading you like a Zinzao. It does know for a matter of fact. Now, I wonder because the war timed out last second. Oh, that twisted advance was pretty cool from Sponge. Avoids the elastic slingshot da damage as Delight. Moving on up. Great. Sponge did waste a little bit of time, but it's not oh. the end of the world as Satep goes in aggressively. Does out trade Zaka pretty nicely, but obviously. As all right, here is the peanut gank once again. Flash out from Satap, but Stretch Armstrong is not going to let you get away. Zaka is chasing after him. He does manage to get. So, Small gank here. Get yourself a flash. I'm be feeling great. Zaka might get the cancel. It would be huge. Oh, he is. Uh, Zaytab gonna have to get out of there. He does follow him with that Conquering Sands, and there it is. There's no teleport available as well. I think Zaytab will be able to get, catch most of the wave, but it's gonna take a lot of time as the gank. Yeah, in comes Peanut, connects one of the arms to Pleta. They are going to back away, I think. Understanding. Uh, Viper gonna go, go back home. Oh, that piercing arrow, that was almost just a, uh, a, a dead Viper. It's now Teddy could also be in trouble, but the chains are gonna land. And now Peanut. He's uh, in a rough need to talk about his sponge ending the dragon. He's going to be able to do that. We're going to check this fight out one more time, or, well, at least the catch from Zekka, who even takes the time to get all the minions that he wants to. And then, uh, yeah, unfortunately, a rise auto, and he's dead. Yeah, this is the nice. 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 Uh, Sounds like two options that aren't team fighting, which might be very useful. As Rascal gets out the needles. Doran trying to fight this one out, though. He does have the World Ender running. And without the last remaining, is going to become more and more of a menace. Ooh. Satap. Yeah, Empress Divide comes in. He's caught out of the air once again. And those arms, they stretch real far. And the Sand Soldiers are enough to take it down. That is 2-0 now for Zekka. And we know that Zekka is very capable. They're carrying pretty hard on this champion. Flash out from Teddy. Stretch Armstrong going to go wide, but the Chains of Corruption do not. They hold down Peanut. He's trying to escape from this one. He actually decides to go in. Let's bounce, says Peanut. Is now Teddy's in trouble. Dawning Shadow, though, might be enough. Viper immediately gets bailed out. And now Pleta over the wall. He will fall down, but he does manage to get one back. Sponge may not be so lucky. However, he is going to create that distance. Satab just trying to protect his tree, the environmentalist that is the Tristana. But the sacrifice is there, and he's pulled back with the... But Kevin's do go over to Sponge, and now the Nature's Grasp to come out. World Ender comes through here as well as Pleta coming on over. Doran gonna flash to get himself out of the way though, and Peanut, he wants even more here. Dawning Shadow not quite gonna be enough to finish off the Aatroxes. Uh, and this is a different scenario. This is Hanwha on the front foot completely, but still, Nature's Grasp going to come down. Doran gets to the safety of his turret, or at least the relative safety. Teleport is gonna be invested here as Zekka's making his way in, and Peanut is bouncing around. So Zekka... So hard to kill. Seti has to flash. Another flash, but this time the Stretch Armstrong comes out. That's a big old flash forward from Delight. As he had the Fates call, he's gonna make sure that Teddy is going to fall down, and now... Peanut can take himself a Herald Ride if he would like to, stretching himself up. Great Arcane Smash from Sponge to try and deny, but he's going to get pulled back. Has to flash to get himself out of there. As Shelly gets a headache, but she deals with this turret as well. And now Peanut, he'll take the reins. And send That's it. very true. Uh, he is now on top of Teddy once again. Teddy didn't have uh, the flash available, and uh, he's almost just getting solo. He is, uh, as Viper will just last hit the Varus. Sponge going to have to blast going his way out, and... Peanut just once again, he's got the uh, Elastic Slingshot up off of cooldown. You know, when you have a, when you have a good Zag angle and you actually take it, to yeah. me, that's the Shrift's credit. Oh, Nature's Grasp well, going to come forward. Let's see whether they can do anything to Peanut here as Sponge in a lot of trouble. Pleter is just going to explode there on the bottom side of the fight as Doran does find him. Rascal as well on this Gwen looking. Although it doesn't, oh. Peanut just lets it time out. Just waiting for the opportune moment. Here we go again. Jonas Strong, thanks for the zoom. Great Arcane Smash, but a Stretch Armstrong once again onto Satab as they do manage to land the ulti onto Sponge, and they'll just take that. 
The flash does have to be used to get the tree out of there. There it is, stretching strike over just for the zoning here from Peanut. Does pull Sponge in, but Rascal, he's a dangerous one. Peanut does have the passive available as OK Doran diving forward. He finds Pleta somehow as another one comes in. The Empress Divide is massive as well. And Armalive Esports, they want to go home early. It's a double for Zekka as he takes down his opposite number yet again. And another inhibitor will fall. Looks like. Inhibit, uh, Nexus turrets aren't on the menu just yet, but I think we're getting pretty close to that course as Teddy has to flash one more time. Peanut just doesn't care. He is about, impressive. Yeah, and what his uh, health bar looks like, because what you said, he can just uh, come back up again. The Bloblets can come on forward as, yep, down to 100 health. Who cares? Teddy's on his fountain, can't do anything about, about it, and there goes the Nexus. Game two for Hummer Life Esports, a 2-0 start to the season.